It's Scout Tech, coming to you from Kilbear Provincial Park to give you a look at the Limestone 4P. If you were looking for something a little bigger, we've done a review of the Limestone 6P recently, so you can check it out by clicking that in the corner. We have the orange here, but there's also a green version. The Limestone 4P, when all set up, provides a grand 83.3 square feet of living space with a ceiling height of 63 inches. When packed up, it is 10 by 10 by 27 and a half inches. This guy weighs in at 11 pounds and 11 ounces. It's fly time. Let's start on the outside, which is pretty much identical to the 6P. There is the same full coverage fly with attachment points for guy lines. The fly is seam taped and there are multiple reflective hits and vents. The massive vestibule remains with the same door and spacious interior for dog or all of your gear. The double zipper is well protected by a waterproof flap. On the reverse, there is a smaller traditional shaped vestibule. The fly is now off for a better look at the structure of the tent. The aluminum poles are pre-bent to maximize volume inside the tent. There are two doors total, one huge double door and a D-door at the back. The double door is interesting because it rolls into the middle instead of off to one side. Do you think this would be annoying or do you think that two separate doors is beneficial? Leave a comment. The tent goes from mesh at the top to a tape seamed base. There are four main poles to this tent two of which come up, cross at the top, and then come back down. Just like the 6P, there are two more poles on the upper sides to spread the tent out to maximize volume. This tent uses a combination of sleeves and clips to hold the body to the frame. Marmot, of course, color-coded the poles and the clips, making setup a snap. Now we come to the inside of the tent, where you can get a feel for the size. A group of four adults can easily fit in here with plenty of room to spare. You can see that there are a few pockets for organization of smaller gear, and there are two pockets on the bottom and two on the roof. The pocket at the top of the tent is for a headlamp, providing constant hands-free light at night. We tried this feature while we were camping here, and we found it to be very helpful. It created a nice diluted light. Not too bright, just right. Just make sure you take it out of there when you're done, since it's pretty hard to find it without a light. And that just about does it for the Limestone 4P. Scouts and families alike can make great use of this tent. This guy is mid to high in terms of price, but the features, quality, size, and weight make it worth it for sure. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you on the campground.